Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jean-Marc Lehm and joining me today is Peter Thomas, Chairman of the Board of Norwegian Data Center Industry. Uh, Peter, thank you so much, so much for talking to me. Slowly moving back to normality, hopefully, and hopefully Definitely. winter won't be too bad. Um, I mean, what's not been bad at all has been this year for um, Norway, the data center industry in Norway. Um, I mean, we've seen some, some interesting and big acquisitions. Um, so Digiplex acquired by IPI Partners, you've had been mounted by the Israeli group. Um, your government just launched a whole new initiative to, to attract even more investment, international and national investment. Um, I mean, talk us through what's happening in Norway. What, what is the, the, the current state of the market um, in Norway from power to, to investment? Yeah, I think uh, for a few years, we've been uh, working hard in Norway to actually basically tell the world that we are a perfect place to put data centers. And at the start, we were a few people working together, but uh, right now we've uh, managed to get the whole industry working together on this task and to form the Norwegian data center uh, industry uh, and work together. All the operators, most of the suppliers and a lot of other stakeholders are working together to actually do this job. And then we have a government that has been very uh, forthcoming in actually, um, I would say, providing the industry with some means. The Norwegian <laughs> data center strategy that the Ministry of Local Government and Modernization have launched. And that basically tells the world that our government is supporting us. It uh, names a lot of the strategy behind and a lot of the things they are doing to actually make Norway a good place for data centers. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. But picking up on the strategy, because um, I, I went through the, the whole document and it, there's a lot, a lot of details there. I mean, it goes from marketing and sales strategies to setting up um, new new activities to attract further investment. Um, what would you say are the most important, the, the three most important bits um, in the strategy that can really leapfrog um, the industry in Norway, because um, I mean, according to the latest market research as well, you're meant to add about 100 megawatts of least data center power uh, by 2024. So that's a lot of power um, for an European country over such a short space of time. Um, so how is this um, strategy? What, what are the three main points of this strategy? They're going to really attract that investment. No, I would say that uh, uh, the main or one of the main things is the, the cooperation between public and private sector, uh, because in okay. Norway that actually works. Uh, this week I was in Germany actually meeting up with a lot of German uh, companies and, and uh, they were amazed because in Germany, basically the private and the public, they don't go that well together. Uh, <laughs> yeah. In Norway, we actually work together. Of course, at times the interests are conflicting, but still I would say it's a good cooperation. Um, we have, I would say, uh, sort of a guarantee that things are not going to change in a bad way rapidly, which I think for investors, for data center customers, for the whole industry is key. Um, and so th to me, that's uh, made maybe number one. Uh, then, of course, um, in the strategy, uh, they're also naming, you know, the different uh, criteria for setting up business. So, for instance, the energy tax that has been lowered to about uh, 3% of what it was a few years ago. And that is crucial for our, our industry in the future, I would say, to keep it at that level so that uh, it's uh, even more cost efficient to go to Norway. And then on top of that, I would say that um, the continued overproduction of energy makes it very worthwhile to actually uh, work together to, to basically spend that energy uh, locally, mm -hmm. if we can. And data centers obviously uh, plays well into that uh, equation. Um, have you got any idea of um, how green data centers are in Norway? Because um, Norway is a huge powerhouse when it comes to renewable energy. Um, so I will almost assume that most, if not all of them, will be using renewable energy. But do you know more or less where the market stands? 
Well, um, what I can say is that uh, Norwegian companies have been uh, in the forefront in establishing the climate neutral data center pact. So all the major providers, uh, operators in Norway have signed. Uh, we uh, would even like to, to push it further, I think, in the future. Uh, but in mainland Norway, uh, basically all uh, energy production is 100% renewable. So it's almost all water. We have some wind, we have a tiny bit of solar, but almost all is hydro. So the good thing about hydro is it's storable in the sense that we can store water and we can have hydro for long periods, even if it stops raining or if it uh, stops snowing, which um, we don't think will happen very soon in, in uh, Norway, Let's hope not, to be honest. It <laughs> if it does, I don't think we need data centers anymore. We need, we've got other things to focus if it stops yes. snowing in Norway. <laughs> so, uh, so I think in that sense, uh, combined with the lowest price in Europe, mm. uh, you have pretty good uh, conditions for data centers hmm. okay well lots of lessons there especially on the energy front um especially to the uk um in its current stances um but also i mean this year you've also launched the, the norwegian data center industry um of which you are the chairman do you want to talk us through what the what, what is this organization what you guys do how does this does it even differentiate from the strategy with the government um is it where, where does it stand within even the the the, the wider data center market in norway I can walk you through that. Um, I would say that to me, the biggest thing about the Norwegian data center industry is that it unites all the big players in the market. So all the competitors are actually working together to uh, achieve something. Hmm. And uh, I'm very proud of the cooperation that we have been able to set up. I think it's unique in Europe. I haven't seen that in any other country uh, all the competitors working together for a common goal um, and it is in line with the strategy from the government but this has nothing to do with the government mm -hmm. uh, in the okay. sense that it's it's the private companies it's the industry that's actually part of its association then we are supported by the government and by invest in norway and other public entities but uh, here we have Green Mountain, we have Digiplex, we have Base Farm, we have Bulk, we have Leftall, we have Stopcraft, we have a lot of big players working together to achieve that target. And right now we are um, obviously uh, just starting, but uh, we've already set some goals on what we are going to do on marketing activities on pushing uh, the renewable part of things, on heat reuse, on a number of other issues that we are going to address together to actually push mm. them forward and make things happen. Mm, okay, well, there, there was actually one of my next questions uh, about what's to come uh, with an origin that is in the industry. I mean, now you've already said that in a way, so let's maybe change the question to, um, in 12 months time, where do you expect to be uh, with the Norwegian data center industry, what one thing would you hope to have accomplished by then um, in terms of organization? No, I think that we will, uh, we will uh, hopefully will have a lot more members. I mean, right now we have all the major ones, all the big mm. ones that we started out with. Uh, and we've, we've grown from around 10 members to more than 20 members in just since uh, since uh, the end of July actually mm -hmm. and uh, to continue that growth and and basically get all the different stakeholders uh, involved in in our association is uh, mm -hmm. I think the key goal in uh, in the near future and then obviously we have some projects that will take longer time like the heat reuse project that we are working on we have some really good examples i mean uh, we have some fish farming uh, examples we have some uh, district heating we have uh, also lobster farming actually from yeah. uh, from green mountain, <laughs> green mountain recently so so there is a lot going on and we are sharing this and trying to push each other to actually improve and to to move the industry forward that'll be interesting it'll be interesting to see the ramifications throughout europe um, especially central europe but um peter as we say back home there aren't two without three meaning um 
three is a good number. There's always three things that happen at the same time. You've got a, a booming industry. You've got the Norwegian data center industry, but you're also now going, you're, you are now the CEO of um, Aquila. Um, so you're taking to a new role, um, the, the data center arm of the, the, the company. Talk us through what, what you're doing now as the CEO of the company what, um, and the expansion plans that you're going to be doing. Because um, one interesting thing on the announcement was that Aquila will be starting investing in data centers outside of the Nordics. Um, so that'll be something very interesting to, to watch out for. So talk us through what you're doing now and um, what, what, what are the plans where you might go in the future? Yeah, so I joined Aquila on the 1st of October, uh, which is not too many days ago. Um, so I'm still fresh in the role, but I've uh, obviously had some time to, to, um, to start settling in. And um, I think what's unique with Aquila is that Aquila is already a big player in renewable energy in Europe. Um, they have around 13 billion euros invested, uh, so a pretty sizable investment. Um, and now we are uh, setting up the data center part that hopefully will be able to take use of some of that renewable energy and put it into uh, renewable collocation facilities all around Europe. And that's very clear. This is not the Nordic initiative. This is a European initiative by Aquila. We are going to build sites in a number of countries. We are uh, planning to make uh, or to create one of the biggest renewable data center collocation providers in Europe. Um, and uh, we are putting together a team of uh, our own people uh, business partners and others that will join uh, to really make a difference. And um, I think you'll see that there will be some news coming up uh, pretty soon. Uh, I'm not at liberty to talk too much about specific details right now, but there will be stuff happening and I'll be happy to come back and discuss hmm. that uh, at a later stage. Okay. I I didn't want to push, but I really need to push a little bit. When you say be the largest one, I, and you mentioned you're going to build facilities, one, are you also going to acquire? So you're going to do it um, inorganically. Um, and when you say the largest one, I guess in Europe, you'll have to have about 50 plus facilities to be one of the largest players. Um, or are you focusing just on being 100% renewable? Or are we going to see Aquila really grow to over 50 facilities um, in the future? Well, we are definitely focusing on being 100% renewable and mm. being carbon neutral uh, in everything we do. Uh, then I said we were going to be one of the largest players in Europe in that market. So mm. um, it could be that we are not going to have uh, 50 sites. We, uh, let's see. I mean, uh, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying yes. It's uh, early days. Mm. And uh, right now we're building the first site. And that's the site in Norway. Uh, it will be ready in Q2 next year. Um, and that's a 10 megawatt site. Uh, but uh, we are definitely going to come up with a number of other projects pretty soon. Now, if we're going to be 50 sites or 20 or whatever, uh, that's too early to say. But we are definitely going to be a major player in in uh, carbon neutral uh, data centers in Europe. Okay, I'm very curious to see what comes out um, in the next year or two as well. <laughs> well, let's start with the next few weeks. But uh, well, Peter, thank you so much for talking to us. Um, and thank you our viewers as well for tuning into JSA TV and JSA podcasts. And don't forget to check our social media channels for more content. Until next time, happy networking.